One of Earth's major problems is humanity burning fossil fuels, producing the climate-altering carbon dioxide, or CO2. To help solve this, the chemical industry will do what it can to prevent the release of CO2 into the atmosphere. And that might mean going back to the drawing board to reinvent the basis of much of modern chemistry. ARC CBBC thinks this can lead to success. One of its multilateral research programs, for example, targets the small molecule methane, the main constituent of natural gas. Natural gas, like coal and oil, is commonly used for fuel, which is burned, converting methane into carbon dioxide, or CO2. But what if we could split off some of the hydrogen atoms from methane to yield a clean, carbon-free fuel while putting what remains to alternative, better use? A chemical challenge is to break the chemical bonds between the carbon atom and the hydrogen atoms. This takes a lot of energy, which is often supplied by natural gas fuel. But if renewable energy were used instead, then no CO2 would be produced. It's also possible to reduce the energy needed to break the bonds by first loosening them through activation. This can be done using catalysts, consisting of minuscule particles of metal dispersed throughout a porous medium. If the methane bonds are only partially loosened, the activated molecules can recombine into complex molecules, which are used in the manufacture of plastics, coatings or pharmaceuticals. And if the bonds are completely broken, you end up with hydrogen, a clean carbon-free fuel, in addition to solid carbon. When this solid carbon has no regular microscopic structure, it's basically worthless soot. But if it's formed into microscopically small fibres or tubes, carbon nanotubes, it has some extremely valuable applications. Carbon fibres are already used to make strong and lightweight materials for wind turbines, airplanes and consumer sports equipment, such as bikes. Even more advanced applications are being pursued. The activation of methane happens on the surface of the metal particles in the catalyst. And so the properties of the particle, particularly its size and shape, determine the microscopic shape and size of the carbon product. That is why the researchers in ARC CBBC aim to precisely control the properties of the metal particles in the porous catalyst. Getting it wrong can actually clog up pores or gum up the metal surfaces, rendering the catalyst of little use. So we want to get it right. And it gets even more difficult to get it right at industrial scales. So this research will be challenging. And there will be problems and hurdles to make the process efficient and economical. But the companies and universities in the consortium are willing to work together to find practical solutions. If our researchers succeed, the chemical industry will be capable of turning methane into a valuable, marketable product, while producing clean hydrogen fuel on the side.